we're going to be doing. See how this says exhaust? Mm -hmm. Put the exhaust valves. They even, they're even numbered. All of them. Okay. Oh, okay. Up there. One, two. So this is the driver's head. So then this will this will be the well, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. But then trying to figure a spot here. Usually we have them over at the bench, but I'm going to need to work over there. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find you a spot here. Maybe we'll just use the, the Cobra basket. I'll let you. you can stick it in your pocket or just clip it there. You get, I got to adjust that just a little bit. Okay. Now, let me get you a little cup. What's that? Those are the keepers. And it's just the whole, snapped out? Yep, there's two of them. Mm -hmm. There's the other one. Okay. And then when you release, everything will come off. This is the exhaust valve. So what we're going to do is we're going to set all that on there. I'm going to get you a little thing to put that in. And then we'll find the exhaust. Uh, that's number five. And just stick them in. Okay. But sometimes, let me sit. Let me get those so we don't lose okay. them. Okay. I'm gonna get put some. I'm gonna put something heavy in the bottom of that box or bag. There's the old one. So don't roll. Yeah. We'll set that there for all the keepers. Sometimes you have to give them a little tap. This will be the intake. Okay. See how that one didn't go? Mm -hmm. Just a little tap on the side. Now, see how it's still locked in there? Yeah. You can roll. I, use, I have this little punch. Usually just tap them just a little bit. Mm -hmm. There it goes, releases. Sometimes you have to turn them in like this one here. Okay. It has to go in a little bit farther so that the keepers will drop out. It's all right. There's that. And then just pull that out mm -hmm. and release it. And then that's your intake and we'll just keep going down through and then we can start cutting the valves. Okay. After they're all cleaned up. Okay. And keep that collar in there. Doesn't matter which way? No, I'm gonna test them anyways. Okay. See all that stuff? That's yeah. where you're gonna have to clean off over on that buffer then. Okay. After you get them all out. All right, so this yeah. is still five. Five on the intake side. Right, intake is yep. away. So when you do the other one, I'll mark them now so they don't get messed up. Okay. These will be one, two. And the intakes are the larger valves. Yep. Okay, so all of them are ready. Now you can do that next one. Okay. Make sure it's centered, yep. Wow, that's big. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Loosen it up just a little oh, if you can't get. All right. Okay, go ahead. There it goes. And there it went. Oh, still on. Sometimes, like after it pops, yeah. just turn that. See here it drop? There went the one. Mm -hmm. The other one. Mm -hmm. And just release. There they go. Okay. That's all you gotta do then. Alrighty. Handle all that. Intake. I'll see. Yep. If I if I mess up, I'll give a holler. Just try, try to take a look at them too. See if there's any any marks that are burnt. There's some pit marks in it. Must have sat for a while. Mm -hmm. The water might have come down the cylinders a little bit. But we'll polish all them out. Okay. All right. That'll be another episode we'll do on that then. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right. Let me wash my hands up. Just let it roll. Mm -hmm. See how that, that's that color now. Mm -hmm. The intakes, usually you gotta tap them just a little bit. Okay. The exhaust valves usually pop, but the intake ones give you a little bit of a hassle. Wow, they pop out. Who'd have thunk? Your valves are under a lot of pressure. Boy, I'm so glad that we can do this at Bruce's who has 
the specific tools to allow you to do this. Boy, with this clamper dauber, <laughs> clamper dauber. Clamper doodle. I'm sure this sounds weird though, like for anybody who doesn't know what's going on, there's a guy in the corner just talking to himself <laughs> while he does this. I'm just trying to keep it interesting. The exhaust valves, a little easier, so they're a little bigger. More stuff came from Advanced Auto Parts. It's sitting in there in the office, so I'm eager to see what's in there. I think it's the carburetor rebuild kit. And if it is the carburetor rebuild kit, that means we get to have an episode with me and Tony rebuilding that out of a block four barrel, of course. He's gonna be, he has his own project he's working on for his parts hauler truck that's out in the parking lot right now. And he needs to rebuild the carburetor for that thing. There's number eight. Out for the passenger side. Sure, Glenn Bruce showed me exactly how to do this. I'll bet even if you showed me the tool, I wouldn't figure it out. <laughs> wow, that hardly did anything. They are stiff things, huh? That didn't do it. Where are those Ove gloves? My hands are slipping all over it. How's my little wireless receiver doing? Please tell me it was recording this entire time. How's it doing? Good? Good. I see you going there. That's good. All right. Still moving? Still recording? Good stuff. I'm going to put you there you go. Medium. Probably should have had you on medium the entire time. Whatever, we're recording it near lossless, so I'll be able to up the audio and want to ask it later. Hey, I forgot. Oh yeah, I meant to get gloves. I hear my die grinders from last time. I'll put them away. Bruce's wife sent me a message on Facebook yesterday. She said, uh, Hey, what's up? Because uh, I re uh, Bruce Hen is now uh, selling uh, T-shirts and beer glasses and this and that. Uh, so I shared the post. Maybe I'll make a video about it. But uh, Bruce's wife Susie says to me on Facebook, "Hey, uh, I got a bunch of comments. People asking if the shirts come in brown." <laughs> he said, "Should I make brown shirts?" And I said to her, that's kind of a joke that goes on with RCR. Bruce asked the same thing when I got in this today. And uh, I said, well, you know, if, if, if you want to make brown shirts, maybe one or two people will buy them just to say they have brown ones. Of course, that made me thinking, hey, maybe I should start selling brown shirts. Maybe I should... Back. Oh, wow. That one's really stuck. I'll come back to that one. On to valve set number two. See that one? That one's easy. So this is number two. It's big, so it goes there. Oh. Ah, wow, that one popped like crazy. Last one. Hello again. Intake number three. <laughs> you got it in the air. I heard someone behind me.
I kept sneaking trying to get around the van. <laughs> for any nicks on it. Valves are all out. Now we get to go look at that firecracker footage inside. <laughs> 